Hey friends, my name is Mitch, and today we're going to continue on with the Tiger. So, if you look at what we did last time, we just put a lot of base coats on it, and you got to admit it actually looks fairly good. So, compared to um, like just starting out, we only worked on it for an hour and a half. It looks fairly good. We made a lot of progress. So, and base coats just puts on the basic colors that you need um, to get started. So obviously base coats is not a finished product, um, so don't you know expect that. So now we're moving into the pastel pencil stage. So the first stage is soft pastels, hard pastels. Second stage is pastel pencils. So first stage we just cover most everything except the eyes. Normally we'll leave the nose undone, but it was so easy that I just went ahead and did it. And now we come in here with a smaller pastel pencils and do details, eyes, uh, some hairs. We're going to do um, define the stripes more, give the nose area to where it looks finished, etc., etc. So let's start out with the eyes. So he has a nice pretty eye. I'm trying to score the color here. I think we have like a like a darker sort of orangish here. And keep in mind that at the top of every animal's eyes it's really dark. So I mean if it's a little too dark that's okay. And this is like a reddish color that's coming down across through there. And then that fades into more of an orangish yellow color as you come up. And there's less of that color there and more of it here. So right here I'm going to press a little harder and just get some of this color in there. Because the color sort of bleeds over from here into there and a little bit there as well. Alright, that looks pretty good. So now as we come in closer to the eye, we have more of a light, light yellow. So we're going to switch to Carvathello 215. So this is the Stabilo Carvathello brand that I recommend. And I recommend these because they're a dollar like a buck something each. You can't really go wrong at that price because even if you don't like the hobby later, just give it away to somebody. It's only a couple of bucks. And you don't need like a whole 60 set or anything like that. I mean, you can get 24 and have more than enough of the basic colors you need. What I do is I'll pick the colors, only the colors that I need and I order those. So, it's only like 20 bucks for the colors that I want. I'm going to go ahead and come in over here. All right, so that looks pretty good. So we have this nice white reflection up above the pupil. But before we hit that, we need to nail the pupil. So let's see. We need to get it pretty exact. Probably the eyes is if you mess up at all, you're going to be not happy. So you want to go light here. Try to get the pupil where you want it. Get the size, get the length of the pupil. And then you want to step back and compare it with a picture. And I think that looks good. What we do have though, once you start coming in, is this area here is just darker. And I think that's sort of throwing me off a bit because we have this really shaded area and it's like a really dark brownish almost. So we'll get a dark brown like this. That comes up through here and then it sort of extends out. And then once you put the eyes in, it really brings this cat to life. All right, I like that. And then I want to give that a little more shade 
with this black 199 as you come over here a little more shade and then over here like that so that looks pretty good I do want the that reddish color to extend out a little bit more what I don't like is the reddish color and the black come out in the same exact spot you want some variety and so here I'm just gonna press a little harder and make these dots as you come through there especially up here have these dots like that so that looks pretty good and right here you have some dots and I'm just pushing instead of pulling I'm pushing at a 45 just to so get these just dot pattern up there because that's what I want you want some variety in the eyes you don't want it to be like all the same color or stuff like that so I like the the people I think it has some good definition there and then as you come up we have this really really bright white spot and I've talked about white before the problem with pastels is it's not really reflective so when you do a highlight I like to come back with colored pencil on top of that so you have that nice sheen reflectiveness and that's really going to help you out but for colored pencil since it's wax based it'll go right on top of this pastel so you want to get a good smidge of your white pastel in here for this and if you're working on a different type of paper let's say the very expensive pastel mat you will be pretty happy with that because you get a really nice highlight from that but I don't think the highlight is bad once we put down colored pencil but for basic pastels on velour it's not gonna be the best highlight that you've seen so just be aware of that and then over here we have a smidge like that and then when you come over here to this area here we have a I'm going to push it a 45 because I want a really small line we have like this area over here and it's really shiny and I do want to respect that You just have that come down through there all right so now we have this little line that's running down we're gonna break out our colored pencil because we have this really fine line here like that and another line comes off and then another line comes off here so something is being reflected on here I'm not sure what and then you have the same type of thing you have these lines coming down across through here and then down through here I know I'm covering up that spot that I just got but I want to get this really honed to where I'm comfortable with it and especially underneath this white spot we have a very very dark line just want to get a colored pencil just get it that defined and then underneath the here we have a very thin line but again it's very defined it's very very defined I want to get that as well as when you come up through here this defined line all right so when I scoop back a little I do like it um, I just think it needs to get da darker shade because we have this weird circle that happens here we're gonna to try to get that here it comes down and then it comes back up a little bit we're just barely pressing then you have this darker area here like that so you have that nice defined area all right so when you come down we have a darker brown so I'm just gonna get a dark brown like a dark reddish brown maybe Let's 
see, we're gonna have the dark brown category. All right, so I have this dark desaturated brown, and I wanna get that and just hit these areas up top here with it. Not really hard, but it's just dust. And just dust is what I want to get up here. Let's do a dust dump right there. Because you have this shade darker, like right through here. And that desaturated brown is really going to hit it nicely. Desaturated brown underneath the eye, sort of, like that. And then you have this really reddish spot beneath that. And I'm going to come in here with this red. And this is really, really in your face red, but I just want to touch it. Like, not really hard, but I just want to really get that red highlight and just get a little bit of this dust in there. Again, once you frame it, it's going to not look as detailed. So I want to put detail I can in there now, especially this dark, dark area right here underneath that. Get that really defined dark. And as I back up, I like it. That looks really good. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. We can come in with our colored pencil and get our really, really reflective waxy area right here. You can see once you do that highlight, it really brings it to life right here. So you get that waxy build up and just sort of wax bloom it. All right, then as I move back, that looks really good. So that's exactly what I wanted. And ditto with the wax bloom here. And again, I'm gonna move back and I like it. I like it a lot. Just get this little smidge there. These are really, really, really little details, but I like them. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's just get this one line that's coming down through here. Back. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now let's move around the eye. So now we have a nice eye shape and everything else. Let's move around the eye and get some detail around it. First thing I wanna do is hit the top of the eye. So we have a lot of individual little white hairs. And since we already put white in there, what we need to do is just sort of negative fill it with a darker color. So you don't want to go in with just black. That's going to be a little too much. So I'm going to come in here with this gray and just get a little bit of this darker, just give it a little life instead of just making it all white kind of thing. And you obviously want to go the direction of the hairs and all that stuff. And we'll come back in with colored pencil and get all that. But we did come, the black is a little too much up there. So I do want to come in with white. Sort of get a hairy area right there. And you can also come in with your colored pencil and get a some hair detail right here. So I just want to lighten this up. I don't want it to be that dark. All right, and do a different colored pencil. Again, I just want to lighten it up. It's not going to be exact. All right, 
front and then just come out a little bit. A little early for colored pencil, but I do like it. It looks good. All right. So we did come down through there a little too much with that black, but that's okay. So we didn't get the eye exactly like we wanted, but again, that's all right. So now we just get this gray come in through here because this is not as bright white as we made it. And then as you come up there, we have our section right here that sort of got a little bit of that color in it right here and then right here. Like that. So it looks pretty good. And then, let's see, as we come up, we have more whitish areas coming around the eye, like right through here. All right, then as we come out, it expands in this direction. Then you have this black area underneath there. So this black area is larger here. It's got like a coming up with a little hairs there. And it's coming out. And this grows a little larger right there. And then between that you have a section with just a couple of hairs like that, just orangish hairs. That's fine, like that. And then underneath there, we have our, get our gray and just gray out sort of the bottom section there. So actually we could come in here with black. And you just want some hair texture at this point, like that. Like not a lot, just a little bit, because then it goes white. Then you can come in here with your colored pencil and get some of those details like that. So you have these little individual hairs over here. And we're gonna spend a lot of time around the eyes and face. And the rest of the body is gonna be a lot of shortcuts. Fortunately, there's not a lot of shortcuts to get some realism in the, in the face. And it's critical that you get that. Otherwise, everything just looks wonky. So we got that, and it comes over there through here. So we do have a lighter portion underneath the eye. So like right here, it's not quite as dark. And that comes up, and then it has a little white section there. So that gives it a nice realism, it looks good. Then we can bring back this dark that we just sort of messed up with this stuff. Just want that dark right here. Gotta preserve these darks. Like that. There, that looks great. All right. So now let's go outside of there. So let's come in the eye. We have a darker brown. I want a saturated brown. Get our Carbothello 670 here. So right here we have like saturated brown. Right through there, these little individual hairs. And I do hate drawing individual hairs, but you have to. Around the eye, nose. You're sort of stuck doing that. There's not really any other better way. So, unfortunately, once you're in the eye area and the nose area and the mouth, you're stuck doing individual hairs, unfortunately. Not a good way out of that. But trust me, once we get away from this, we don't have to do it anymore. Right, so we got individual little hairs here. That comes down through there. 
and we got more individual hairs as we come up. And as we come up to the eye here, we have more individual hairs right here. And then as you come up right here, you have like a stronger little hairy area there. And then right here, a little hairy area. That comes up, and we got these. All right, and so now we have a too light area, which is okay, because we're going to get this pinkish brown, and we're going to try it out, and I think that's going to get us where we want to be here. You want to make sure to get some of this pinkish brown into the white area. Because you want those two to blend, you don't want like a hard line between those two colors. As you come up here, you got this area up there. All right, and looks pretty good. Then we get our brown and just come up and sneak some of that up in here. All right, so that looks pretty good. And let's get our white colored pencil while we're here and let's get our hair detail that I wanted right here. Okay, that looks good. And then as you come down through there, we got our little individual hair details here. Okay, cool. And then right here, we have a little highlight. Just want to get that. All right. So now we just have a lot of hair detail coming down, but it's more of a desaturated brown. So let's get our, we got two desaturated browns. Let's get this one and give it a shot right across through here because we want detail, but we don't want it to be fully saturated. Saturated meaning really bright reddish. I don't really want that. I just want some hair detail right along through here. And keep in mind, we're doing a bigger portrait, so it's gonna take a little longer than usual to get all this stuff in. Just make sure you go in the direction of the hair, proper style. Nice short little hairs, short little strokes there. You just want a little action in there. All right, now as we come down through here, we have a like a darker section. So what I'm gonna do is just make darker hairs here. We got that little section right here that's coming down. Around the nose area, there's a little longer hairs. Got a little more action. And that's what you want. And then down here, we just have a lot of individual strokes. So you want lighter around here, and you just want some action going this way. You don't want to make them the same. You don't want any patterns, just have it random. Going back and forth here. So you just want some texture, basically. So if you have four or five brown pencils, you can just get those and rubber band them together and just do this much faster than this. Essentially, I just want some texture. And this is going to be a showpiece. In other words, a piece I'm going to frame, show other people. So you want it to look pretty tight. If you're just doing a dog or a cat for somebody, it'd be a lot less detailed than this, but we're not. So around here, you have our more, de you have our more saturated brown. So we're going to get right through here. We have these marks here, and around that we have some saturation. I'm going to be careful. This is really bright. 
but you do have this saturated area right here. Just score this and let it come up a little bit. You never want to have a hard line where your, your area just suddenly stops. So you just want to move it around up here a little bit. So an area that just suddenly stops for no reason and is like a defined square area or whatever is just going to be bad for you. You're not going to like it. It's not going to look good. All right. So in adding to that, we're going to add our a darker brown to it. Give it a little bit of a kick over here. So that looks pretty good. All right. I'm happy with that. And then around that, we have our small hairs of brown. And those are coming outward like this. And then this area in between is not as saturated as those. So we're going to get our, like our light color here and come across with that. looks pretty good you got to back up away from it and see um, the only thing I can see that's sort of missing is we have a sort of a saturated area here and I just want to touch that I don't want to hit it hard and this is just dust right I don't want to hit it hard I just want to get a little bit of this saturated brown right there All right, cool and now you're gonna come in with just where the action starts. You're gonna come in with this black and you just wanna get a little action here and there. So like through here, just wanna get a little of these fine lines through there. Okay, cool. All right, now we come to the middle part of the nose. That's gonna be weird. Hang on. We're gonna to have to effectively just come in with a black pencil and make a little bitty dots. We made some with our pastel already. So we got our color pencil that was black, 
we made our little marks. Now we're coming in with a colored pencil that's white and we're making more little marks. All right, so let's do some more work on the nose. I'm not gonna do all of this on camera because it's kind of repetitive, but when you zoom in, you see different levels of like black marks that are coming across through there. So we're just getting our colored pencil. And the good thing about having our base coat down is it handles all of the color for us. All we need are these little individual lines here. So we just have individual lines with like a dark pencil, either brown or black, and then you come back with a white pencil and just make little comma strokes across through here. So, and the little comma strokes are gonna be, um, are gonna be our, you know, individual hairs that are coming back up across through here. So I'm not gonna do this whole thing because this is sort of repetitive and you get the general idea, but you just want little small hairs that are coming up. You wanna make sure to go the direction of the hair. Make sure to turn your pencil so you always have on the sharp edge of it because you don't want like a big blotch of wax. And then as you come up, you can add like a little yellow color pencil or a tan color pencil to give it that uh, nice textured color effect. And that's just going to give you a, um, just a nice speckled pattern on the nose. So as we come down here to the bottom of the nose, we have a bunch of individual black little marks, little tiny little marks. And again, we're gonna do our colored pencil. Gonna come in through here and just do these little marks down through there. And on top of that is the white, obviously. But since we already have white here, we're just gonna do these individual black marks and make sure that blends in up here to this area. And you know, you have a little darker area there, so you're gonna press a little harder. And then as you come in, make sure there's small little marks. That's why you use colored pencil. Make sure they're just little small little marks like that. Then as you come in through there, we have like a little more there. All right, and then you obviously wanna put your white colored pencil on top of it. Make sure it's razor sharp. So this is a Stabilo all colored marking pencil and I like it because it dumps a lot of wax. So you can use Prismacolor if that's what you got. Use Prismacolor, just use whatever you have. Any wax-based pencil is gonna do you right on this. So. so you're gonna press harder as you come to the middle because that's where it's mainly white. And you just wanna inch up a little bit across through here. Make sure they're not straight lines. Make sure you have some variety in them and they're going different directions. And some are curled, some are straight. So we're going like this, like that. Some are straight, and some are cross, some are coming down a little bit. And then as you come over here, they're not as bright, so press lighter. And as you come in, they are brighter, so press harder. Just get the just pattern, you know? And that sort of comes up a little bit. Make sure you don't have a defined straight line to where you stop doing this because it doesn't look very good. So as you get to the edge, like right here, you got a couple harder marks, so press a little harder. And um, and then, you know, just get a couple of marks here and there. Like that, so it looks good. That looks very much like the picture. And then as you come down, we have a darker brownish mark. So we're gonna get our thing here because we have this uniformed color in the nose and it has, it has blotches here and there, so. You just want to get like a few of these blotches here and there on the nose. I'm not pressing too hard, but I'm pressing hard enough to where I get some detail. Like that. And then we have dots, so you can just get the color, or they get the uh, pastel pencil and just dot it. Like that. And over here we got some areas like a Coming through here, it's like softer. On the edge, it's softer. And then you come in with your white colored pencil and just make more little dots. Not big dots, little dots. It's got like a little dotted pattern. Again, I wouldn't get this detailed if I was just doing this for a quick project, but since this is a showpiece, I just want to get these little dots in there. And this is barely noticeable, I'm just barely touching it, but. I want to get a couple of these dots, just get that speckled, bright speckled pattern in there. 
All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so now I just want to glaze it with some pink. Um, let's see, do I have a pink? I just want to glaze it. I don't want to hit it really hard. Just want to get a pink pastel. Just go through the middle of it and just glaze it. Just lightly dump some pink dust. Just enough so your eye catches it. It's not major. Like that, just bright pink. Like that, looks good. Cool, all right. So I'm happy with the nose. Now let's move on to the other eye. So you get the idea here. I'm not gonna go 12 hours on this thing today, but you get the idea of how to make a speckle pattern on the nose, get your little dotted pattern there, get your nose detail here, and then you can come here and make with your colored pencil and make these defined bright white hairs, right? So you just have that, and you're just going different directions, making the hairs in different directions. So you have this nice, bright, pretty set of hairs here. Comes up. And then we have this hard black line where the nose ends and the hairs start. And you want to fix that by getting a few of these hairs and just bringing them down. Like that. So you have a couple of these hairs that come out, right? Some you press hard, some you press light. For the most part, you press really light. Just get that speckle pattern there. And here, you don't want that to be a, a defined straight line, have some hairs come up. Like that. So now you have a nice, so as you scoop back, you have this nice pattern of hairs coming out near the nose. So that looks great. I really like um, that style. I really like how we're doing on the, the face so far. So let's go back here and do the other eye. So we need all the colors we had before. We got our brown, got our other type of lighter brown, got our oranges, and then got our black. All right, so let's go and do the other eye. Um, what I first thing I notice on the eye is so we have these two types of brown we have this darker red brown and then more of a red red brown that makes no sense right so the first thing I see on the top part of the eye is a darker reddish brown so we're gonna get here we're just gonna fill it up here. Just fill it up. Like that. And then come across down through here. Press a little harder there because that's where the detail is. And then leave it nice and soft as we come down. Because it's not as hard when you come down down through here. It's more prevalent up top there. And then we come in with our light color, and this is this is predominantly what's in the eye is this light color here. And let's fill up a good section inside of here with this. And I'm pressing pretty light. And then down through here, we have this light yellow area there. Just want to get that represented. And that looks pretty good. All right. And then let's come back with our red, more reddish brown. And I just want to touch the inside of the eye near the pupil right here. There. Not hard, but I just want a pattern. Like right here. So it sort of transitions from that dark to light. And I want to represent that transition. Like that, that looks great. Now let's get our black. And again, most of the pupil is covered with highlight. So make sure and don't draw a whole pupil. 
because it's mostly covered with white. So if you draw a whole pupil and then you try to come back, so you see I have just a smidge of a pupil here, like that, and then I have like this fuzzy area around it. And I went a little too far out on the pupil and I can forgive that with a little more of this red right here. All right, so it looks like an area around the people, and you do have an area around the people like this, like that. And it's a mixture of dark and light. Make sure you don't fill up the pastel area with this stuff, because you're coming back, don't forget, with the highlight. All right, so on top of all of this, we have our highlight. And I don't want to go directly to colored pencil yet. I'm going to start with a white pastel. And the reason is because I can sort of get rid of some of this pastel. But the minute you hit it with that wax, you're done. If that's in the wrong spot. So I got that there and that there. And then you have a bunch of little marks like right across through here. I don't know what it's reflecting, but it looks cool. And then you have like a white area here. All right, and now, I'm just duplicating what's on the photo at this point. Now, I want to scoot back and I want to get like a close-up of the eye zoomed in on my reference. Then I'm going to go back and forth with my eye to here to here and see what's wrong. And what I can immediately see is I need some darker browns. So let's grab our desaturated brown because at this point what it's missing is the browns. And uh, even though I already have some in there, I could use a little bit more of a punch with these browns right through here. And again, you just want to back up, evaluate what you're doing, and make sure it looks good before you commit. Just want a little bit of this darker brown, especially like right through here. I know this is black on the photo, but a little bit of a darker brown is going to look better. Any time that you can substitute black with another color and get away with it, that's a, that's a bonus. Big, big bonus. Alright, so scooting back again. I'm going to go back and forth between the reference and that. And I do like it. It's not as rounded as the photo, but what I think is happening is I got too much too much black at the bottom there. So what we're going to do is round it a little bit more so it matches the photo a little better. Like that. So that is nice. That's more rounded. It matches a little better um, to the photo and it looks better compared with the other eye. So let's go back to the bottom section. Put our reddish brown because all we did was just smooge it with this yellow and that's not there so like that and then in the middle we want some yellow and I'm just gonna get a colored pencil wax colored pencil right now and I'm just gonna get a little bit of yellow there not a lot but a little and with everything you need to go the other eye and do the same thing You don't want to fill it up with yellow, but I do want a little of the yellow action, especially across through here. Got a little bit of that yellow action there. So I'm pretty happy with it. So now let's get everything refined, right? Let's get our black colored pencil, make that pupil darker. They, they're actually researching a, a black color that's, that reflects absolutely no light. If you can get your hands on that and use that for the pupil area, 
you will be the happiest person ever because that will look photo realistic if you can get just the little center part of that pupil pitch black not everything but just that center part of the pupil if you can get that dark dark as dark as possible it will look so good so good now be careful right here this is dark but then it's light and then it's dark again so you need to discriminate between those two points like right here between this dark and this dark it's a gray so what we're going to do is come in with our colored pencil and since it's already dark from when we started we're going to get a little bit of white in there not a lot like that so it just has this little area and you can't get too detailed in the eye it doesn't exist there's no scenario to where you're gonna say I got too detailed in the eye it doesn't it's not gonna happen okay and then underneath this darker area we have this light grayish area right there so what I'm gonna do is go back in with our white pastel pencil right through here and just lighten this up just below there and we're sort of ruining our darks and we don't want to do that so let's come back in now that we have a committed and get our dark put it back in like that and that widens as we come over through here a really really dark area there okay so I like that and I think we need to expand this light area as it scopes around through here like that that looks good and then we can come in with our colored pencil and really really get these dark darks up here nice nice dark right here as dark as we can get it and then that sort of comes out like a little comma up through there all right so let's back up and I like that I like that a lot so that looks fantastic actually I'm much more impressed with that than I thought it would be so again we have this hard line between here and the white area beneath it let's fix that real quick by just making little bitty individual hairs right through here and don't ruin our gray area let's make sure and go underneath that like that that looks good and then underneath those we can come back with our colored pencil and just get some individual hairs across through there. Like that. And then make sure you come in a little bit with these white hairs. And just do it at a 45 degree angle. Give you a nice, nice, deep embedded wax bloom into this thing. Which is what you want. Coming in at that 45 degree angle. Get a couple of hairs. Make them just smooge out there. Sneaking out. Just sort of sneak out right there. And then when you come up top of the eye, same thing. You got one hair just sneaks out right there. And then you got some hairs that are coming through here. Somebody told me colored pencil didn't work on the lure. Say what? I don't want to get too detailed here because you have a again we have a hard line between black and white. You don't want that. So we're gonna get our black and we're gonna make some little eyelashes. Some cool looking little bitty hairs for eyelashes there. And again, you can't get too detailed on the eye. It it doesn't exist. If somebody says that's too detailed on the eye, please just immediately start laughing. We're like, what? All right. All right. 
and this right here I'm going to do this in pastel pencil because you can't really tell it's a bunch of individual little hairs all you can see is just this area that comes out right like that yeah it looks good and then coming away from that it, it's already orange just needs a little brown so we'll get our saturated brown which is what this is and just come in and just make these little individual sections here right like right there there you go and then as you come up you got a couple of same things here and then a couple here that just really brings it to life it really does all right, and then coming down, this is saturated area right here. Like as you come out of the eye, just touch on this a little bit. Not really long hairs, not really hard on the pastel. Just want a little bit of a hint there. All right, and then as you come out, we have a little bit of this saturated color right there. I'm not pressing really hard at all. And that sort of fades out the more you get out of this area, this saturation sort of fades, and it becomes mostly tan. So you can just do this while you're watching TV, you know. And you don't have, it's very rare that you're going to have like one color and only one color in a certain area. More likely it's going to be two, three, four different colors. And since it's pastel, you can just watch TV and go through with these colors. So we have the saturation that comes down through here. I just want to replicate that. Little dots and such. Sort of relax with that, right? Sort of relax and play around and have fun with that. So as we come up, we have a desaturated brown, which we have here. And the desaturated brown pattern sort of comes out through here. We just want little hairs here. Again, normally I would just crank up the TV. I'd be like, I know I got a lot of little hairs through here. And that comes up across through there. Just barely press and go in different directions. You want to go up, but you don't want to go straight up all the time. So I'll go a little bit left, a little bit right as you come along. And then right here, you got like a harder one. So I'll press a little harder. Up here, you got a couple of harder ones. Right here, you got like a little mark like that. So that's sort of what you want to do with this whole nose area and the eye area and all that. So let's wander over to the top section. And once you get outside of this area, the main meaty area, um, you're just gonna essentially up here just draw like that. You're just gonna make a mess, really. Farther away from the face you get, the messier it gets. It's like you just don't care. Up here we have this tan color. Let's go put some of that in there. Like that. And then especially down here on the beard, we want to get fairly detailed on the beard, but as we come out, the farther away from the eye we are. For example, let me give you an example like over here. So this is this color. And what we're gonna do, it, it needs to stay light. So all we're gonna do is just come in and make just general strokes over here. Nothing detailed at all. Make huge, it's long hair. Make long, general strokes. And remember, a quarter of an inch is going to be your guideline. It's where we want to stop. So I'm just going to put that in there. And then you're going to come in with your colored pencil. 
because it's 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 black hair is coming out right so you're just gonna go just go out like that and you're just gonna have these areas where you have these long hairs and some are short and you already made your base coat so you're just gonna sort of come out like that with here just want some areas like that where it's just sort of coming out Make it fairly dark in there. And then make sure that some of it comes out a little bit more than others. Like that. And then you come through with your white colored pencil and you just finish it. You have these hairs coming out through there. This is not detailed at all. It doesn't have to be. It's way, way out in the in the far reaches that nobody's really gonna look. As long as you get the values correct and, and all that, then you're good. Then press hard sometimes, and then press light other times. Press hard right here. You got a couple of hard hairs, and light hairs. Come through here, you press hard. Got a couple of detailed hairs, and light hairs. Just go in different directions. Like that. And so that's going to be your whole, that's going to cover that whole section. And that took me, what, five minutes? So five minutes, I did a pretty good section because I don't care. I'm not in the eye, nose area. Everybody's gonna go, right, everybody's gonna go here, 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 and just sort of wander out from there. Very rarely are they gonna come to here and stare at it for a long period of time. It's not gonna happen. And so you get a situation to where you don't have to put a lot of detail in it. Like I can come back in here and put some of this brown saturated color inside of here if I wanted to. I mean, you could spend four days in here, but I, I'm most likely I'm going to spend five minutes um, just doing the outer sections. So the most time, the most time, the the so first most focus and time is going to be here. Second is going to be in this triangle. From here to here to here you want to make that as detailed nose fairly detailed as you come down less detailed less detailed less detailed random crap random crap random crap random crap it's gonna be this is good this is gonna be I'm literally just gonna get a white pastel and just rub it really hard and take it outside and beat it to death until the pastel falls off and then I'm going to just mark it with some blue because it's snow. And that's going to be it. That's going to be it for this whole section. It took me like 10 minutes. So, so just make sure you're focused on the triangle of love. Here to here and to here. Once that pattern, once you start going out, less detail. So, I mean, that's, that's it. Uh, you don't want to spend two hours, four hours on this area. Nor this, nor this, right? So, I mean, you just want to make it look good. And I think that it's only been an hour and we got both eyes, we got a good nose, we got a, a pretty good triangular area so far. And um, just going to hit the rest of it next time. And for from now until next time, I'm just going to cover the triangle of love here and just get the detail that I want inside here. And... Um, just get that done so until next time thank you guys for joining me and i will see you again